So as of this recording, Frame of Motion 2 is currently in beta. And that offers a few cool new components that we can use, one of which is animated shared layout. And that allows us to do more native-like layouts you'd see on iOS or Android, where you're actually animating between different components. So a little while ago, I wrote an article about this, uh, making magic in Frame of Motion 2. This is that article here. And it's been updated with a new API. Here you can see we're clicking on a few dates and it goes into an expanded view. And this is using the new Animate Shared Layout component from Frame of Motion. So let's have a look at the code sandbox and break it down. So we click on the dates, 25, 6, 7, 28, and we get an expanded view. So how does this work? Well, as usual, we're importing Frame of Motion, but we're also importing Animate Shared Layout, which is the new component I was talking about. Let's take a look at the entry point, the app component. You can see we're defining the dates that we want to display here. So if we remove the other ones, we're left with 25, and that works as expected. We'll put those back for now. We're rendering a date button component, and we're passing in the day, and also some functionality for the, uh, the collapse and expand. You also notice that we disable the other dates, and that disabled is just a change in opacity. So let's take a look at this date button component. Here we go. So we have date button, and you can see our props being passed in here. We have some logic for the expand and collapse, but what we're really here to see is animate shared layout. So how does this work? We're wrapping two different components, compact card and expand card, and animate shared layout. And how the animation is actually gonna be triggered is we just render the one that we want at that time. So currently to the right in the preview, you can see that the expanded card is showing. And these ones here, 27, 28, 29, and also 25 are the compact cards. So these are two separate components. So how do we actually link these together? And how do we animate between them? Well, let's have a look at the compact card first. You'll notice it's pretty simple. We have a motion.div, but we also have this layout ID. And this is where the magic comes in. This layout ID is going to allow us to animate anything with the same layout ID. So if we have two different components with the same layout ID, in this case, expandable card, we can animate between them. And we don't really need to control the animations either. It's just gonna do it automatically. So that's how we get the main animation here. You'll also notice that we've got this other one down here, today is clear. That is just a standard frame of motion animation like you would see normally. So if we get rid of that, you'll see this is really where animate shared layout uh, shines. Now there's one other component to this as well. You notice we have this content component this content component is used to render the day and if it's disabled or not. You notice we have this content component, which also has a layout ID. And that's title. But where are we rendering this multiple times? Well, you see, it's actually inside the expanded card and the compact card. So the reason we have this may be a little bit difficult to tell, but the number needs to transform between this large text, which is white, and also the smaller text, which is navy blue. So if we comment out layout ID, you see the size animates, but the color doesn't. And there you have it. This is testing out frame of motion beta 42 with animate shared layout. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more details, then take a look at the article that I wrote. Until next time.